All right, we've got a little demonstration of my new furnace lift here. Um, we'll do a little walk around, but uh, for right now, Jay, this one here is just for you. Uh, it ain't Bluetooth, pal, but it's close. It goes up. And it goes down. All right, so you might be looking there and say, I don't see any power cord going to that thing. Well, let's go have a look and see what's going on there because it doesn't need a power cord. Because I've got that little battery box right there. And uh, inside the battery box is that wireless relay for the um, actuator controller. And then here at the top and at the bottom of the actuator, there's just uh, two clevis pins. So if you want it to be a manual lift, you just pull those two pins and unplug that cable. And then you've got a manual lift that you can just uh, actuate by hand. Or if you aren't by the remote, there's a little uh, manual button right there. Then let's see, what else do we have here? We've got, uh, yeah, the, I made a vent reducing insert so I can use all of my cooking utensils. And there's my lid. It's got the super swirler in it. I'll have to show you guys the super swirler. But uh, this is just a uh, insulating castable insert. So I can put that in there. And you guys might remember the cooking utensils there is my degassing lance and my uh, contact pyrometer. Then the lid, it moves and uh, it gets pinched there for a lock, just like a disc brake with that little uh, palm grip. So you can just uh, lift it here. Let's have a look underneath. Oops, I actuated with the actuator in my pocket, but there is the swirling lid. It's quite the contraption there. Let's go up a little bit and have a look at that. Yeah, so you know, might promote a little bit more swirling, whirling action in there. But, so that's the furnace. And the lid lift, that's pretty much all there is to it. But uh, knock that out in about a month of uh, free time. I've got the uh, electric insert sitting there. That's got resistive heating coils in it, and it just installs there in, in the gap underneath it. So it can be a burnout oven or um, holding oven or whatever you want to use it for. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a useful addition to the uh, melting arsenal here. That's all.